Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a uh, basic uh, HTML form in less than five minutes worth of work. And we're going to use it uh, using my tool, formalhosting.com. So when you sign up for formalhosting.com, uh, the first thing you're going to be able to do is make your very first form. I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Uh, this is the very first screen you're going to see. And what we want you to do is uh, name your form. Uh, and this one I called it demo contact form. I'm going to show you why you need to do this later. <clears throat> and how it all works. Um, it's going to fill in your email. This is when someone comes to your website and fills out your form, this is where the emails are going to get sent to. And uh, if you want to add more emails, you can do uh, like this. You know, you can just keep adding them with a comma right after uh, your first email. So if you need it to go to more than one person, that's fine. Uh, the thank you URL, this is the web page they're going to see after they fill out your form. And what I'll typically do uh, is just make a, a very basic page uh, that just says thanks, we'll, we'll get back to you soon or whatever you want it to say. And you can put your own uh, website address on there uh, with the link to the form. It'll, it'll bake that right into the form for you. Uh, this is the text you want to put on the, um, on the button you see on your form. We can, uh, we're going to make a contact form. So uh, we'll just make it say contact us now. And then the third option is, do you want us to host the web form or do you want to put the HTML code on your own website? I think for most of the people watching this video, you're going to want to put the HTML code on your website. Again, this tool is designed to make you a super highly flexible form that you can, uh, we're going to look later, you can drop it right into a program like Dreamweaver and, and keep designing your site exactly how you want. And, and I made this so that the form doesn't really get in the way of what you're trying to do. Okay, so we've set those settings. We're going to go to step two here. And in step two of our form wizard, uh, basically it's got all the fields you want on your form, uh, whether you want them to have to fill it in or not. Uh, the different types of fields. We can take a look at this real quick. Uh, basically you have, uh, you have text fields where it's just one line of text. They can enter their name, their email, whatever they want. Uh, you could have a multi-line text field and we did that in our message here. We want it to be 40 columns wide and 10 rows deep. And so this is where they can type in a message or, or some long text. Um, uh, radio button choices uh, there you just type those in and um, you can give people different choices what a radio button does is it lets them pick one of many so if you have five different choices maybe you're doing a survey or something uh, you could list out the five choices but you only want them uh, to pick one choice that's what you would use a radio button for um, a drop down list choice you've seen these this is what we're looking at right here this is a drop down list again you type in the uh, the different choices here and uh, they can pick one one of the different choices and then a uh, you also have a checkbox again the same thing you give them a bunch of choices but here's checkboxes see I can pick one or none or all. It's a it's a multi selection is what they're able to do with checkboxes. And then finally we let you do file uploads and you can specify how big you want the file to be. Uh, I, I've had customers to do uh, 20 and 30 megabyte uh, drawing files that they needed to upload for the printing company. Uh, so you can do larger uh, files like that too. So we're going to keep this real basic. Uh, we're going to move over to step three here. And in step three, uh, after they send out their form, do you want to send them a thank you email back? And it uh, fills in your name, uh, what you want them to say. You could type in a message however you want. Uh, you can even send a test email to yourself. But basically, you know, after people send out their form, they want, they want confirmation that you got it. And this is perfect for that. As soon as they submit the form, a few seconds later, they're going to get an email from you saying, hey, we got your form. I'm going to get back to you uh, as quick as I can. And uh, a lot of people really like that feature. So that's it. We're done with our form. We hit finish. And I don't think that even took us five minutes. So it generated all the HTML codes you need, error free. You could just copy this, just like that. And you can put it into your um, favorite designing program I like to use Dreamweaver so here is an example of a contact form very similar to the one we just made and what I want to show you here is how see how this lays right into Dreamweaver I can um, I could take my Dreamweaver and uh, you know add more text to it I, I can keep working exactly how I like to work in my designing tool 
and the uh, web form doesn't really get in the way. Here it is right here. Here's the form. I just uh, I just pasted the code right in, right into Dreamweaver. It tells you not to modify, and right there, I just pasted it in, and I got a nice looking form. Uh, it's going to work without having to do any programming at all. So uh, again, I, I set this up for designers and for myself because um, I, I got sick of writing the same uh, email sending code over and over again. So that's pretty much how it works. I want to show you some other cool things here. So I go to my dashboard here in form mail hosting and here's all the different forms I've made, how many people have submitted to them. And you can see some of them have got more than others. But if I click this icon right here, uh, save your submissions in Excel. I'll show you what that does. And it'll show me everybody that submitted my form in a nice Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Why would you want this? Well, sometimes you may want to send an email blast out to everybody who's filled out your form. And you can do that by just taking this Excel sheet and loading it into a bulk email program and you can send out a nice broadcast uh, you know everybody who's filled out your form. Here, here's an example where I used a drop-down box, okay? And I asked them if they were a paying customer or not. Well, this is nice because, you know, I, when I get the email, I know if they paid for the software or not. But I can also, uh, I could sort this in Excel, and I can look at, you know, how many paying customers are asking questions versus ones who's not. I can, uh, I can look real quick at all the different questions they've asked and figure out if something's broke with the software. See, so. Um, it's a very nice feature to be able to do this. Uh, you know, Microsoft Excel is uh, probably one of the most flexible programs uh, as far as exporting data to just about anything else takes it. So that's it. In uh, just a couple minutes, you can you can build all the web forms you want, and uh, I've made this two tool super easy to use for you. Uh, you can just head on over to uh, formmailhosting.com and you can get a free account and get started with it. Uh, if you need help building your form or you get stuck, there's a contact us button right on the form or right in the software. Uh, just hit that. It'll uh, send me or my staff an email and we'll get back to you as quick as possible and uh, help you get your form up and running. Uh, thanks again for your time.